Hi, I'm Sylvia from Learning New Creations and today I'm going to show you how to make my little in the hoop wallet. It's got little sections here to put your credit cards and here you can put some notes and I've put a little can snap on it in case you want to close it. It's very easy to make. Um, you print out your instructions and on the instructions it has the measurements. So you need some fabric, which I've cut, and you need six pockets, and the pockets you fold in half and you press, so they're ready to use. And there's one more pocket that's a little bit larger than the other one, so we're going to use that for the last one. And the wadding. We need two different kinds of hoops. Um, one is the 5x7, and then the next size up you can use and medium weight stabilizer. Okay, let's start. So I've put the hoop in the machine and the first color is gonna stitch out the placement line for the pockets. It's done the placement line and the next stitch out is going to be the placement line for the fabric you're going to put down. So this is the placement line for the fabric and you get your strip of fabric and spray it with some double K 100. I've placed my fabric in between the lines, right? And now we're going to line the first pocket up with the folded side to the top and you line it up to the first line there and the stitching line is going to be there. So now we're going to stitch that. Okay, so it's stitched that and then you line up the next one. Oh, it's a bit tricky. You line it up to the next line on the top here and the top there, make sure it's even. And then you stitch out the next color. Okay, that's the second pocket done and we're going to do that with all of them till the sixth one and I'm going to line up the next one as you can see they're lining up one by one on each line okay so we're going to stitch this one down This is number five. I've lined the sixth one up and you'll tack that down. Now 
this is the seventh little pocket and that is the larger one of all of them and what you do is you line it up to where it's supposed to stitch and then you open it up and then you stitch it oops I've got to put it back in the hook so you stitch it And then what you do is you bring it down, make sure you creased it well so you know where to push it down. And you stitch the last one. So that secured the pocket and now we're going to do the sides. We're now going to sew the narrow strip on the side here you line it up side which is the larger bit you just line it up you're going to cut it so you don't have to be too accurate at home obviously you're going to use the color thread that matches your fabric I'm just using black here so you can see what's going on taking up a bit of room and she's going to help us now I've taken it out of the hoop and you turn it over and the line here and the line there if you tear the stabilizer away along those lines so that'll give you a little bit of support okay so I've taken the stabilizer away from here and there I mean it doesn't matter if you don't do that it's not um, you turn it over and this is the line you're going to follow in you cut it a quarter of an inch And you do the same on the other side. That's it. And now we have to press it down. Okay, I've pressed it flat and you just fold this so it comes neatly, so you have a nice quarter of an inch mark uh, or, or seam there and this will come up automatically when, you, when we use it later on. So just put this aside, now and we're going to start on the second hooping. I've gone to a larger hoop um, and now we're going to stitch out the outline. Now 
finish the outline and now we're going to put the wadding right in the middle it should be the right measurement and then we're going to put the fabric over it now the wallet is going to be folded over like that so you want the fabric to go the right way so the dogs are going to go um, vertical or horizontal I don't know anyway this way okay now I'm going to take it back to the machine and it's going to stitch around there stitch out the position line for the side things. It's a bit hard to see on here, but you'll be able to see it behind. Okay, and now we're going to position the side pockets. Right, so I've lined the side with all the little pockets up here, right up to the stitching line. And I'm going to do the other side. You've got two pieces of material that you will have folded over. You put it on top of one another. And again, we're going to line them up. With the stitching line here and up there. I've placed them in position. I've put a tiny bit of tape up there so it won't get caught. It's going to do the other side. Make sure you hold it down well. So it's gone all around and secured the pockets and now we're going to put the top layer on and then it's going to leave an opening here So it's, it's gone all the way around and it's left a little opening here so we can turn it. I'm now going to show you how to trim it. Right, I've taken the stabilizer off all the way around and I've left this in because that'll be make it a little bit more firm. Now you have to watch where the opening is. I should have left a little bit more material there but it doesn't matter. We're going to cut a quarter of an inch all the way around. Now we're going to trim the corners, make sure you don't 
cut the stitching you just go just above the stitching and now we're going to turn it inside out I always use hemostats or whatever I have to turn because I think it makes it easier. Won't do a lot of wiggling. I always use them to push the corners out too. Push the corners gently. If you push too hard, you go through the fabric. Okay, now I'm going to press it. Just make sure you press this neatly and then you can slip stitch it. If you're going to put a cam snap in it, you can do that before you stitch it closed. Or you can just glue it or I prefer to stitch it. And here you are. Here's your little wallet. You can put your cards in here. You can't see the pockets very well with this fabric. I've put some cards in here so you can see what it looks like. Um, it's got loads of pockets. You can put your notes here or here. So and it closes up nicely. There's another one I just did earlier on. And here's one with the snaps. They make lovely little presents, they're very quick to make and you can use up all your little scraps of fabric. So happy stitching, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.